up, buddy Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Jibaku Shonen Hanoko Kun, aka Toilet Bound Hanoko Kun, chapter 112. But before me and my adorable Will Kitty get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons and because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored if you love what we're doing and want to help keep me my adorable will bubba key and this operation literally alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content whether it be news analysis or live reactions like this one feel free to hit up our cash up and paypal links are in the description box below so well, last chapter, we were seeing the timekeepers create a new present, which was very, very interesting. Um, I wonder if what that's going to mean in the grand scheme of things. But well, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this month. And God, ooh, we got Nini here. I know this is the artwork that was um, on Twitter. Uh, yeah, it was on Twitter this morning. Oh, it's so beautiful. Nini looks pretty. And this chapter's title changes. A small flower pot stands before Anini. Ooh. All right, let's see. To be honest, my life has been filled with nothing but problems up till now. Oh my god, a video game motif. Oh my god. Okay, I am living right now. I've been having so much nostalgia with manga lately. Between, you know, with One Piece and the, um... And the Saturday morning cartoon realness, even zero a while ago, we were getting the video game realness too. So uh, I am really loving this right now. Meeting Hanoko for the first, uh, Hanoko come for the first time. The seven mysteries, rumors getting twisted. Um, toss. Oh, the worm, no, phew. Discovering how little time I have left to live, which is, is very, very stormy. I love this. Getting trapped inside a picture perfect world. Oh, the box, no. My best friend being sacrificed, going being the desert. Oh, this is great. Supernatural is appearing at the school festival. Uh, to destroy, um, destroy the Yoshiro or not to. A school frozen in time. <laughs> After all that, it's finally gotten this tall. Um, yet, it's never bloomed a single flower. There's still lots I have to do, too. What should I do? Huh? What? The clock keepers? What are they doing? The roofs of this plant have rotted. However much you try, it will never bloom. Um, try that here. Try this instead. This plant was grown from the same type of seed. It grew up strong, healthy, and free of disease. So that plant basically was um, Nini's uh, tree of life. That's what I think it is. That's what this is. Hence, like, all the turmoil and stuff like that. And because Nini's lifespan was so short, I want to go back to what it said here. What the clock keeper said here. Um, the roots of this plant have rotted. However, much you try, it will never bloom. Because remember, um, Nini's, as I said, Nini's life span was short. Hence, it was never going to grow. But... Now the clock keepers are giving her the extra time. Try this instead. Here, try this instead. This plant was grown from the same type of seed. It grew up strong, healthy, and free of disease. See? The prettier version of something is always better, right? Huh? Wait! Give it back! That's important to me! Ooh. That's an interesting question, though. If everything, you know, if you had it rough and you could replace it with, like, an easier life, would you do it? God, part of me is like, yes, yes, do it. But at the same time, because... Look, at, I, I, I got to compare myself to Nini in this regard because I have multiple mental illnesses and 
if I could have it to where it's like Nini, where I, my mental illnesses are gone and I could have a normal life, normal is overrated, would it be better? Yeah, it'd be a million times better, but would, and also if ever, would I still have the same experiences? Would I be as strong as a person as I am now? Would, um, hell, if I, would I have Zeno in my life? No, probably not. So I understand. I understand. Because I think about it constantly. I'm like, what if Brian was still alive? What if I was still, you know, in the life that I had before? Would uh, I really wish I, I could go back. But then at the same time, it's like, I have, I, then I wouldn't have Zeno. I wouldn't have my little baby kitty. And I love him. I would, I would not lose, I would not trade you for anything in the world. I just wish my, you know, my, my, the rest of my situation was better. But I, under, I understand the metaphor we're going for here. Nini-chan? Um, are you alright? Aoi? What's wrong? You've been out of it all day. Are you sick? Oh, no, everything's fine. Sorry to worry you. But I had this weird dream and it's been bothering me since this morning. A dream? What kind? Um, well, it was like, uh, huh? I forgot. <laughs> Typical Nini-chan. You have me here, yet your head is stuck in the clouds. And to think I was looking forward to having uh, you all to myself for the school festival. Aoi, doki doki, sorry that was rude of me. Where do you want to go? Um, we'll go wherever you want. Hooray! Then let's start with the 3D trick arts. Say cheese. Um, the fortune telling parlor has a 40 minute wait, huh? Look, a haunted house. Uh, but what does this mean for Hinoko? An Aoi. Or, uh, what, what is this going to, um, I mean, Akari, what, what does it mean for them? So talented, right? Takiyaki, woo! Um, who's in the mood for some ultra delicious takiyaki? Um, you can buy some at the food stand, so, uh, section of the schoolyard. Uh, that boy, <gasps> so she wouldn't have known, um, known Teru. Uh, Teru or Ku, because everything, like, all the stuff at the Supernaturals was replaced. It's gone. That boy, who was he again? Um, take this, if you want. Ooh. Um, Minamoto Kan, where'd you go? Uh, uh oh, see you around. Um, you're a flirt now? Clearly not, dumbass. He's Terukan's brother. Um, <gasps> Mitsuko's alive too? Oh my god, Mitsuko's alive and he's grown up! <gasps> they changed it to where Mitsuko is alive and grown up! Oh my god, I love this timeline. Um, do you know a mini chop? Oh my god, can I, can I just protect Mitsuko forever? I love this timeline. I officially love this timeline because look at Mitsuko, 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 Mitsuko. Do you, uh, um, no. And then the photography got too. Uh, I don't think I do. You're so popular, Nini-chan, but who would expect less from the star of our class play? She's the star of the class play? The star? Dude, I see what you did here with this. Because this is what we are in the Wizard of Oz. This really is the Wizard of Oz. Once she said it, I knew it to be true. They chose me and I worked my butt off rehearsing too. I know all this and yet, and kitty, and yet. Um, why do I feel so uneasy? I'm nailing all my lines and delivering a sound performance, so why? It feels like I'm walking on clouds and I'm still half asleep. In Oz, this song, these lyrics, she's an, she is an Oz. Uh, I feel like I wanted somebody to see me sing. She wanted Hinoko. Where is Hinoko? Uh, there he is, there's Hinoko. Uh, Hinoko-kan. Oh, president. Just so you know, I didn't bring Yashiro-san. Before that, I figured I should decide whether I treat you as a supernatural or a human being. <gasps> Ooh, Teru! So, what exactly did you do, Clock Keeper? Um, you really- Ooh, you really let me down, AOI. I- Well, I think it's the butterfly effect. You know what that is, don't you? The theory that the tiniest flap of a butterfly's wings could cause a tornado- Cause a tornado to form miles away. Dude, this is such a great, great interpretation of the Wizard of Oz. Oh my God, I love this. I love it. 
and the timekeeper too himself. Like, isn't this a great way to do the Wizard of Oz? Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna finish this because I have to compare this to Card Captor Sakura Clear Card Arc because with her, with Card Captor Sakura Clear Card Arc, that was Alice uh through the looking glass. So it this this is gonna be fun comparing this. Same thing goes for the past and the future. Let me read this again. The theory that, uh, um, let me start here. Well, I think it's the butterfly effect. You know what that is, don't you? The theory that the tiniest flap of a butterfly's wings could cause a tornado to form miles away. Same thing goes for the past and future. The tiniest change to the past could cause a rip great ripple effect into the future. In other words, because the past changed, we now inhabit a, pre a brand new present. Literally, we had this in Card Captor Sakura as well. Um, see, the first day of the school festival is drawing to a close, and look how peaceful it is. In the present, none of the, the students will turn into monsters, and the and time won't come to a standstill. The incident that shook the school, um, never happened. This was the clock keeper's goal. Huh? So you're saying I should just throw our old world away and live in this new one? Some like you have uh, retained their memories of the old world. But in three days, memories of the new present will overwrite those of the old. <gasps> Everything has gone off without a hitch and who knows, maybe some people will prefer this present over the former one. Could you, could be you, um, could be you present or Yashro some, any number of people. I'm back here at the faculty room. Good work out there. If you're back, then that means, yep, my classmate is safely through the end of the performance. Um, it's already gotten that late? Ah, so it has. Hmm? That wristwatch. Is it broken? Yep, it stopped working a long time ago. Is it some kind of special keepsake? Nah, not really. Um, Yugi? Yugi, an old colleague of mine gave it to me. Ooh! Whoop, whoop, what? The person that Suchi, Suchi, um, Gamori is referring to is... Ooh. Is he talking about Noko? Because I'm looking at the picture. It looks like Kanoko. Hmm. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think. But I want to get into this comparison here between Car Captor Sakura Clear Car Arc and Toilet Bath Hanoko Kan because we have something very similar going on. Because in Car Captor Sakura Clear Car Arc, um, Kaido did the very same thing or something very very similar with um, in terms of time. Uh, because with Akio, Akio was in a similar situation where, um, where she couldn't use, use magic. She was like an, a vessel kind of thing. And she wanted, and he wanted to protect her from basically the black wizards from using her. So what he did was he used a forbidden spell and rewrote time to where, um, Akio was Sakura's twin sister. And that's how it was. But even prior to that, um, the play they, they were in and the dimension that they were in, it, the way that Clamp did it, it was a spin on, uh, was a spin on, um, Alice through the looking glass. Here we have something very similar. You know, you know what I mean with, with the similarities that I'm talking about here. Here we have something similar where we're getting, um, time rewritten. Um, overwritten and but in this case though this is the Wizard of Oz I like this I like that this isn't um this could have gone to the Alice uh, and Wonderland route it really could have but I like that I love that we're going the Wizard of Oz route I do I really like the beginning of the chapter um, where we had the plant or you know uh, Nini's tree of life I love that I love that, um, I love that as a symbolism. And you know what? It's kind of the reverse, if you think about it, it is kind of the reverse in terms of Wizard of Oz. Because in Wizard of Oz, you know, Dorothy is in Kansas and the tornado takes her into 
the wonderful with the wonderful land of Oz. Here it's the opposite, where you have Nini is in the supernatural um has gone through the supernatural realm, and then you have the butterfly effect, as it was said in here, the tornado, um, with the butterflies tornadoes, and it brought her into like into a different timeline kind of thing. If that makes if it brought her to like a it wasn't like a fairy tale world. No, it's just an alternate reality. If that hopefully that makes sense. But similar to Card Captor Sakura, what was said in there was that after a certain point that time would be completely, you know, this would stay permanent. Same here and we have the same thing going on here. But there was another point that was brought up here that um, would they be happy in this, you know, reality? Card Captor Sakura, no, Akio was, in this case, Akio, Akio was not happy. She was not happy with this because she knew, just like with Nini, she knew something was wrong. Sakura knew something was wrong too. She could, she felt it. She knew something was wrong. Um, uh, Syrian, Syrian knew something was wrong. They all knew. They all knew to an extent. Anyone that had magical power knew something was wrong. The question is, in the in this case, obviously Teru, you know, he has enough uh, supernatural power, so he totally could say that something was wrong. He could. Now, will um, will Ku sense something? I don't. Ku, I wonder. That's a really good question. Does Ku know that something is going on? And um, he and the reason why he approached Nini was to see if she could remember him or not. That will be very interesting to see. Mit another one, Mitsuba. What about Mitsuba? Will Mitsuba he um, will Mitsuba know something's going on? I will, it will be very interesting to see Mitsuba and the other mysteries too, if they can sense something going on. But. I feel like the only ones that the only ones that should be able to feel like something is off are the ones that have any um, uh, supernatural power. So, like if Sukasa is there, um, if uh, uh, obviously you know Hinoko, if Hinoko, we saw Hinoko in the audience, so something, there's something that going on. But this will be very interesting. I can't wait to see the interpretation of, you know, when um, Dorothy, it, this is at the end of The Wizard of Oz, when Dorothy clicks her heels three times and uh, says, uh, there's no place like home. I wonder what we're going to get for that. I wonder what we're going to get in, um, in term, the interpretation for like the flying monkeys. I, I wonder what we're, well, ooh, that's a, no actually, that's a very interesting thought. With the flying monkeys in this case be uh the owls that we saw um a couple of chapters ago that's a very interesting thought isn't it i'm very curious what do you guys think in terms of the symbolism I, since we're going to be comparing it in terms of like the wizard of oz or hell i'll even include wit if you guys have read wicked um the book wicked musical yeah, you can kind of inc maybe include that in the mix too. But if you've read like the book Wicked and um, Son of a Witch, I want to know what do you guys can you guys see some of the symbolism going on, like I do. I, we we are definitely good. I'm I'm very curious how this is gonna go down. And also, if you're a card captor Sakura reader like I am, what do you guys think of it? It's, it can't be a quit. This is a happy accident right here that we have two series using time um, and take, having their own take on a classic series with Alice and, um, well, Alice through the looking glass for Card Captor Sakura, and, um, uh, Clear Card Arc, and then here we have um, Wizard of Oz. I think it's really interesting. I like it. I love that we're getting this. I think it's brilliant. I really hope that um, I'm right and that this is a little bit of like a wicked slash Wizard of Oz kind of thing going on here with um, uh, with Toilet Bow Hinoko Kun though. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. 
love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more Toilet Bath and Okokan content, you know ways you can do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.